Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through a quick review of three-digit multiplication. If it's been a while and you need a quick refresher, this should be helpful. Whether you're in high school, college, continuing your education as an adult, helping with an assignment, or maybe you just learned this recently and need a quick refresher, really, no matter where you're at, here are a couple of examples to help you out. Let's jump into number one, where we have 325 times 281. Now, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to line this up vertically. So we're going to rewrite it up and down. 325 times 281. Now we're ready to go through our multiplication process. So we start by multiplying the top number by the ones digit of the bottom number. So the ones digit of the bottom number is the one in 281. So we need to take that one to the five, the two, and the three. We can forget about the two and the eight in 281 right now. We're only concerned about the ones digit. We'll get to those other digits later. So we'll start with one times five, which is five. Then we have one times two, which is two. And then one times three, which is three. So now we're done with the ones digit of our bottom number. So I'm going to cross it off. I'm going to cross things off as we finish up with them. That way we avoid confusion moving forward through our process. Now we move to the tens digit where we have an eight. Now the value of that eight is 80. We're moving over one place to the left to the tens digit. So we need a zero right here as we start with our tens digit. Now we can multiply. So eight times five is 40. So we have another zero here and carry the four. Then we do eight times two, which is 16, plus four is 20. So another zero and carry the two. And then we have eight times three, which is 24, plus the carry two is 26. So we'll write our six, and there aren't any more places to the left to multiply by, so we can bring that two straight down here, and we have 26,000. I'll put our comma in, and we're done with this eight, and we're done with the four and two that we carried. So I'm crossing all that off, that way we know we are done with it. Now we move to the hundreds digit. We have a two there. That two has a value of 200. So we need two zeros once we move over to the hundreds place. Now we multiply. Two times five is 10. So we'll put our zero, carry the one. Two times two is four, plus one is five. And then we have two times three, which is six, 65,000. So we can put our comma in. And once we get to this point, we add these numbers to get our final product or answer. We'll start with the ones place. Five plus zero plus zero is five. Two plus zero plus zero is two. Three plus zero plus zero is three. Six plus five is 11. So we'll put our one and then carry the other one. And then one plus two is three plus six is nine. We will put in our comma. And this is our final answer. 91,325. Now I do want to mention one more thing before moving on to number two. And this is going to help our overall understanding of this process. Let's take a look at these three numbers right here, the three numbers we added together to get our final answer. Those are called partial products. They are part of the final product. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So again, the three numbers we added together are called partial products. They are part of that final product. Now 325, well that came from the ones place where we had a one. So we did one, 
times the top number, which is 325. 1 times 325 equals 325. So that was our first partial product. Then we moved to the tens digit where we had an 8. The value of that 8 is 80. So we had 80 times our top number of 325. And that gave us an answer of 26,000. So that was our second partial product. And then lastly, we had a 2 in the hundreds place. That 2 has a value of 200. So we did 200 times 325. And that gave us 65,000. So that was our last partial product. And at that point, we add the partial products to get our final answer, which was 91,325. So something to keep in mind as you're going through the process. Let's move on to number two, where we have 6,724 times 549. So let's line this up vertically and then go through our process. So we'll start with the ones where we have a nine. So nine times four, 36, carry the three. Then we have nine times two, which is 18, plus that three is 21. Then we have nine times seven, which is 63, plus that two is 65. And then we have nine times six, which is 54, plus that carried six, that gives us 60, so we can put our zero. There are no more places to the left to multiply by, so we can bring that six straight down. So we have 60,516. We can put our comma in, and then we are done with the ones, and then these carried numbers. Now we'll move to the tens place and multiply by that tens digit, which is a four. So that four has a value of 40. We are moving over to the tens, so we need a zero there. Then we do four times four, which is 16. Carry the one. Four times two is eight, plus one is nine. Then we have four times seven, which is 28. So we'll put our eight and carry the two. And then we have four times six, which is 24, plus two is 26. No more places to the left, so we can bring that two straight down, put our comma in, and we have 268,960. We're done with the four, this carried one, and then this carried two. Lastly, we're moving over to the hundreds place where we have a five. Now that five has a value of 500, so we need our two zeros there, again, because we're moving over to the hundreds place, and now we can multiply. Start with five times four, which is 20. So we have another zero, carry the two. Then we have five times two, which is 10, plus the carried two, that gives us 12. Then we have five times seven, which is 35, plus the carried one is 36. Carry the three, and then we have five times six, which is 30, plus that carried three is 33. We will put a three here, and then the carried three, there are no more places to the left, so we can bring it straight down. We can put a comma here, and then another comma here. And now we are ready to add. Start with the ones place, so six plus zero plus zero, gives us six. One plus six is seven. Five plus nine is 14. Carry the one. One plus zero is one, plus eight is nine, plus two is 11. Carry the one. One plus six is seven, plus six is 13, plus six is 19. Carry the one. One plus two is three, plus three, is six. And then we have a three in the millions place. We can put a comma here and a comma here. And this is our final answer. 3,691,476.
So there you have it. There's a quick review of three digit multiplication. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.